Hi everybody, this is Chris Morelia from T4 EdTech and today we're talking about final projects. So what I'd like to do is at the end of the year, I want to make sure that my students have choice. I really believe in that idea of student agency. And so today we're taking a look at final projects. And once again, I want to preface this by saying these ideas are not mine. These were actually as a choice board came up by Jason Smith. Um, I modified them to uh, the various concepts here so that they would work for my students. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So first of all, the research shows that choices are an integral part of student success and student engagement. When a student knows that they have success or are engaged in a particular content piece, when they get to choose something of their own. So here are some of the ideas that we looked at. So they start off with a US history video yearbook. Uh, most of my students didn't want to do that. Maybe they're tired of doing flip grids, uh, understandable. So we can take a look at what they did decide to do. Spotify, uh, so you're probably familiar with the Spotify. So this idea that they can create, look at a historical event and choose um, to create a playlist by Spotify. Now they had options where some students actually got really creative and created a playlist by actually create looking at what they studied and then put there in they were the artists so the playlist was like units of study others used actual music and tied it into things such as the civil war or the revolution or things of that nature um, this is from another teacher this idea of a netflix uh, episode list so students had to take a look at a three historic areas. In my case, they looked at the 1700s, 1800s, and 2000s, and they would put a title of a particular episode. A lot of my students chose slavery. And then they created their own episodes here based upon what they knew. And the ones that do this did an exceptional job uh, with descriptions. They, some of them got creative and created basically like their own mini series on slavery. So highly engaging. Next one we're looking at is uh, America is. So finishing off this theme of what America is. Um, students sometimes struggle with this because of the complexity of the project. Most of my students didn't do this, but it did allow students to finish off the sentence and then come up with their own artwork explaining using documents. This one was a, um, a challenging one, but also it was one that some students chose to do. So they created their own piece of Disneyland, a new historically themed land is Disneyland. And they focused on the time period from the 1780s to the, um, or from 1770 to, to the 1870s. So time periods, which we studied, and they did a pretty good job on this as well. But once again, challenging, um, I had students that actually used Minecraft to put this together. So um, once again, that whole idea of student engagement. Time Magazine, Person of the Year. Okay, so here's where students got to choose a person from a particular time period and basically stuck in the, their picture here. And then they had to actually, as you see the pages here, they actually had to create uh, descriptions about who this person, their contributions, and trivial information as well. This was a favorite, creating a road trip. And this was done by a um, uh, Twitter teacher and person I know, Amanda Sandoval, who does an exceptional job in creating Google templates. And so the students choose, chose a three different sites, historical sites, beginning from the time period from the colonies all the way through the Civil War. So once again, creating student agency and making sure that students are fully engaged. This was our end of the year project. You could go anywhere with it.